the ability to uh, analyze people data is a critical skill that hr professionals must possess it is critical because it would help hr professionals to be able to draw hidden insight from people data to aid strategic hr decision welcome to today's episode of hr insight where i simplify human resource concept so today we're considering hr data analysis using excel now why the buzz around hr data analysis and excel data analysis is taking raw data and creating useful information out of it and when it we now relate this to human resources we are talking about hr data analysis the data that we are trying to get useful information out of in this regard is human resource data it is the people data the talent data the workforce data the employee data and in trying to draw insight and useful information out of the employee data the simplest tool that we can use to do this is our native microsoft excel because microsoft excel is the simplest tool that helps us in managing processing and analyzing data hence it is important that we explore the data analysis capability in microsoft excel so let's get into some practical session i'm going to get into excel uh, we will take a case scenario of an employee data we will get to the point of defining some questions of what we want to do out of the employee data and we're going to be able to explore excel in bringing out useful information out of the raw data that we have let's get into excel right away in order for you to be able to do hr data analysis using excel you need to get familiar with the critical features of excel features such as uh, your home tab uh, what are the major things that are there uh, how do you format data uh, talking about the fonts alignment then the functionality in terms of determining is it a number is it currency accounting short date percentage and the rest because if you're going to be working with hr data you must be able to make sense out of the data you must be able to clean your data you must be able to process your data before getting to the point of analyzing your data but we'll be concentrating uh, most of what we're going to be doing on uh, this data which we're going to be working on this is the data we're going to be working on and this is the question that would be useful uh, so in order for you to use excel for hr data analysis it's critical for you to get uh, familiar with the critical features in excel uh, one very interesting feature is ability to understand your data now we have a question here where the question says inspect the employee data given uh, this is the employee data tab we're going to expect it in a minute the second question says we should analyze the employee data and make useful insight out of that employee data and the int has been given that we should uh, look at calculated measures and attributes in an earlier episode uh, i broke down uh, the difference between measures calculated measures and attributes when we're dealing with hr analytics uh, for a recap you can check on the link above uh, to be able to watch that episode i'm still going to break that down in relation to the data that we are dealing with right away so let's try to inspect the data that's the first question uh, the first question says inspect the employee data given which is this data and the second question says analyze the employee data and make useful insights out of them so let's look take it one step at a time so we have an employee id you can see it's not uh, well revealed it's almost like eating uh similar for when you look at this date of birth so if i if i click in the cell uh you notice that the full uh what is written in that cell is right is written is showing fully in the formula bar a formula tab but it's not showing when i click in the cell so what you need to do now which is the starting process of cleaning your data so each a little steps in cleaning your data is being able to put your data in a readable form that it is it's also part of formatting your data take for example you see this header saying i add it and you're seeing numbers you see date of birth and you're seeing numbers now you would be wondering what exactly is happening here if it's an i add it i expect it to be a date if it's a date of birth i expect it to be in a date functionality those are part of the things you need to do when you're doing hr data 
data analysis ability to be able to clean your data so i'll start up with the first cleaning process is just to uh, make each of what is in the cells to be reviewed at the header level so i'll double click in here just to reveal them uh basically i'll double click double click just to sh reveal everything within that so you could see that all of the cells is now open uh is now more visible to see now the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh format uh, so the first thing is employee id so these are numbers i don't need to do much on that they are just numbers employee ids just to hide the names of the employee then there's gender uh male female male female uh then there's hire date and there's date of birth now these two uh columns we need to do some work on those columns and the work we need to do is to be able to format each of these for date within excel date functionality are usually written as as numeric values or time series or number series now each of these number series correspond to a certain date for it to be reviewed all you need to do is to highlight the entire cell where all of that is written then you go to this tab the number so i'll click on the drop down what i need to do now is i want to format it for date so you look for the date then pick the date functionality that you so desire i usually prefer this that shows me the day the month and the year and i click ok and you now notice that each of the date have now been formatted as date they were numbers initially number series now converted to date formatted as date now formatting in excel is changing the look and feel of the data itself so that is even more clearer to me so analyzing this i can now still uh do some quick edits uh formatting then i can make all of this to be centralized and that now i need to make sense out of this data let's just look at the data at a glance what are the th things i need to do so i can see an employee id i can see a gender i can see an ir date i can see a date of birth i can see location i can see department and i can see job grade so what are the things i can draw out of this there's an int talking about calculated measures and attributes now when we are talking about a calculated measure a calculated measure is derived from a base measure a base measure is just count so if i look at each of these for example how many employees are here that's a a, a a base measure i need to be able to know how many employees are there that's me making sense out of this i need to be able to know how many male and female do i have that does not require much calculation i just need to count but when i now start to look at higher date and date of birth what can i get out of that from the date of birth i can actually be able to know the age of each employee and that's a calculated measure so you get a calculated measure is you using more than one base measure to get to derive something to make sense out of your data so that's calculated measure another calculated measure that i can bring out of here is looking at the higher date vis-a-vis -vis the length of service so if i do a calculated measure by using today's date as well as the higher date or the date of birth if i use the today's date and higher and date of birth i will get age in an earlier episode we delved into how that was done you could also check that on the card above then I'll, i'm going to be illustrating that right so let me introduce a new uh insert tab and let me call it today's today's date so as at the time of this recording uh you will use your excel formula today open bracket close bracket so this is going to show the date of this recording so that is stored of april 2021 so if i uh, auto fill all of this down it becomes useful for everything that i am dealing with right away then the next thing i need to do is uh now i need to calculate the age of each of the employees so let me insert it's a calculated measure so let me do age now in order to do that uh there is also an episode that was devoted to this as an introductory level but i'm going to take it over again you can see that on the card above now all i need to do this formula i'm about to write uh, is a formula i've already used earlier which means you will subtract the two dates from each other today's date minus the earlier date which is the date of birth divided by 365 now 
i need to there's a formatting error i need to take out and format it as number so uh when i inserted it took the attribute of the cell before it so i need to format it to show me number so you notice that when i did the subtraction it is giving it to me as a number now it's given to me as age but it has decimals in there so i need to be able to take away that decimal and all i need to do is to do in integer i add an integer to the entire formula i've written already and i will be able to get my answer if i want all of this uh to be taken out in terms of uh the decimal point all i need to do is to come here and to decrease the decimal point just here and that is why it gives me as an O number. And I can autofill the entire data down. And I have all the entire age of the employee. So the next conversation now is that I can actually do an attribute. How many employees are within some age bracket? That also can be done. Then let me add also the length of service calculation. Uh, just similar length of service how long has the employee stayed so i'll add the length of service as well this time around all i need to do is to pick uh, i'll use my integer function then i will use today's date minus the higher date everything divided by 365 and i close my bracket and i enter so if you'd i'll add extra bracket and it's not correct excel has the functionality to auto correct so i'll say yes and i have 18 years so that individual has been working for 18 years and all of that is written out as well so the next uh, conversation for me is that i'm beginning to make sense out of the data now if i now need to uh, create a simple functionality where uh, is there a way i can group this entire data together and start to make sense out of it yes i'm going to be using excel table and pivot table so the first thing i'll need to do is i will click anywhere in the data set and format the entire data as a table at the moment the entire data is not as a table but i need to make it as a table so i'll click format as a table i'll pick any of the functionality here and i'll pick this and what you're seeing now is excel action where is the data and you'll notice there's a green cursor uh trying to give me the boundary of my entire data set and i'll click ok this time around now this method is useful for very large set of data remember i don't know how many data set is here and i can already vividly see that it's more than 100 just by scrolling around but by converting it into an excel table i have now been able to group that entire data together and i can do further analysis now you will notice that this contextual tab was not initially there now it's there now i now have a table style option now revealed and i have a summarize as pivot table at the reverse end i have an option to remove duplicate i have an option to convert to ranges to insert a slicer these are all the functionality uh, that are available in excel for me to explore now what i need to do now is i want to know how many employees are actually here so i'll just click on the totals row and you'll notice that at the end of the entire data set a role column is now revealed giving me the total how do i know if i click on the value and click on this cursor you see it's showing a count so that is 111 employees in this data set now uh, that's that and this can also do further calculation so say for example if i go to uh, the age and i want to do some calculated measure from there uh, it can give me the count of the age it can give me the average age of employees so if i use the average option that's it so the average age of employees in this entire 111 is 40 years that's the average age of employee what about the average length of service i go there using the total uh, column in excel table and i pick average and it gives me 14 years as the average uh, age or average length of service for the employees that means there's an average length of service of 14 years within the organization now if i want to know the lowest age of employees i go back there and i can use the minimum functionality which means the youngest employee within this data set is 28 years so you can see me uh, moving through my data using excel functionality and i can be able to say we have an average employee age of 40 and 
the minimum age is 28 and the maximum using the same functionality here is 59 so i can now say that an average age of employees average workforce age as it's called is 40 uh the minimum age of the employee in this scenario is 28 then the maximum in terms of maximum age is 59 so that gives, that starts to make a little bit of sense i start to have an, a better understanding of the data set that i'm dealing with i have an employee data uh, which has minimum age of 28 maximum of 59 average age of 40. now this starts to give me an idea that this is a very very aging population considering the fact that the minimum age of the employees within this entire 111 is 28 years old and the maximum is 59 that's beginning to draw a little bit of insight from the data so i can do exactly the same thing when i when i'm looking at uh, my length of service just come here uh, at the moment this is taking me the average the average length of service is 14. Uh, let me look at let me uh, take off the decimals here average length of service is 14. Uh, what's the minimum uh, length of service in this scenario minimum is seven years can you see seven years that's the, the youngest person in the organization has spent seven years that's what it means it's if you can see it's confirming the for comfort uh my suspicion that it's an aging population and someone has spent 23 years within that organization so you can see me using uh some of the excel functionality our uh, excel table and some of the inbuilt functionality there to be able to make uh some useful insight from my data I want to believe you're able to learn something from uh, some of the data analysis capability in Excel and how they can be applicable to analyzing HR data. In a later episode, I'm going to be exploring uh, the data analysis capability of Excel when it comes to the use of pivot table in analyzing uh, HR data, even up to the point of creating HR dashboard. Thank you for watching today's episode. See you in the next episode.